Evening. <laughs> Little update, peeps. <clears throat> if you uh, haven't already haven't already heard, sorry, I saw a crow then. Um, if you haven't already heard, Natural England um, before they got sacked this morning rushed out a uh, general license for the for England for the wood pigeon. <clears throat> Everyone on Facebook was like, oh, it's fucking brilliant. And an hour later, National Gamekeepers Organisation. And um, Pascal said that it's not really fit for purpose. Um, there's a lot of stuff in there that's just just won't work. So uh, if you're out shooting over the weekend, just be careful. Um, as it is in Wales, if you go onto the the National Resources Wales website, I'll try and put a link in the description. Um, but I'm not very tech savvy, so that might. It might not, a uh, bit dark, aren't it? It might not, uh, which is not a bad thing for you lot, it might not work. So, um, but I'll try and put a link for the National Resources Wales website. Have a click on that, you can have a look at the general license. Uh, they're running, they're still running the same license um, as, as was revoked in England, it's the same thing. Um, although, by the looks of it, Packham's after them as well, or he's warned them. But I don't know if the if Natural Resources Wales. I don't know if he's got any friends sitting in there like he did with um, the, that Juniper bloke. So maybe he won't have such an easy ride with Wales and Scotland. Um, <clears throat> and then Defra. Was it yesterday? I think yesterday. They were saying Defra was saying that the. Um, some organisations were saying that DEFRA should take over the licensing from Natural England. And as of nine o'clock this morning, Saturday morning, as it is today, um, DEFRA took over. And uh, much, to, <laughs> much to the dissatisfaction of some of the antis I saw on um, a couple of Facebook, some, some things were sent to me last night. And uh, I was having a look. There's quite a bit of there's quite a bit of chatter coming from the antis. They're not very happy, not very happy at all. Um, some of the some of the comments were um, at least uh, oh, the, they basically said, "Well, this isn't good. At least we could negotiate negotiate <laughs> um, with Natural England. Yeah, fucking negotiate my ass. Fucking bully them. You mean that's what you meant? Um, whereas I don't think Defra will be as easily bullied. Um, I'm not 100% sure about this, but this Michael Gove bloke. Um, he was uh, shaking hands with Packham the other day, had a photo opportunity, etc. Um, with Packham's wildlife manifesto, which is fucking probably basically ban everything. So, uh, you know, but I suppose you can have a look at that on the, the government websites as well, I suppose. If that's, I haven't read that. Can't be fucked. I don't, uh, I don't read fiction. So, um, yeah, so basically there's nothing, nothing really, any, nothing any good to report. <coughs> Basque and uh, the National Gamekeepers Organisation. I mean, to be fair, the National Gamekeepers Organisation seems to be on the ball with everything. They're fucking updating people. Um, everything's all up to date and they're sort of, they're on the ball with it. They seem to be on it all the time, telling people what's happening and getting in there and, you know, sticking their oar in and trying to, um, trying to get this whole fucking fiasco sorted out. Um, Basque seem to be chirping up every now and again, but as I noticed earlier on, it was pretty much a, a carbon copy of what was said by the NGO. So, you know, whoever got there first, I think the NGO got in first. So, uh, you know, but the shooting bodies do appear to be doing something, at least. Um, as of my rant last week, when I was effing and blinding about and doing fuck all, they do actually appear to be doing something now. So, and so they fucking should, because let's face it, 
it's they're going to be out of a job as well, aren't they? If all this went completely tits up. <coughs> but now Defra have got hold of it. Um, Michael Gove is calling for um, evidence, I believe, from both sides. Well, you know, the evidence, the evidence from the agricultural side and the conservation side, the wildlife side, everything. The evidence that that will come from the shooters' point of view, farmers' point of view, it's it's undisputable. 155 million quid's worth of damage the pigeons did last year to crops. Um, <clears throat> according to what I saw written on on the Basque Basque site, um, ground nesting birds, uh, game birds, livestock. It's all. It's all there documented, so the shooting bodies, I'm sure, will uh, turn up with wheelbarrowfuls of evidence and say, there you go, and tip that on the doorstep and say, have yourself a shufty through that, matey. And then uh, the likes of Packham will turn up and say, well, you know, everything's suffering because of the shooting, which is a complete load of bollocks, absolute load of bollocks. When things are suffering, things aren't there. At the end of the day, even since the, um, the Wildlife Act in 81, if you just count it from there, Covid numbers are going up, pigeon numbers are going up, all the little nasty fucking, you know what I mean, everything's rising, no matter how many we shoot, the fuckers are still rising, so, you know, if we didn't shoot them, the numbers are going to be absolutely chaotic. So, uh, you know, I mean, a lot of people do try to do stuff. Um, if you saw my dick about video the other night with the non lethal fannying about, um, but people do actually do things like that, you know what I mean? Um, I know shooters, they go out and they'll put out rope bangers and flags and windmills and kites and all sorts of stuff. And uh, after a couple of days, crows, pigeons, everything, get used to it. You know, so uh, they just keep coming in. You know, but uh, as far as everything seems to suffer because we're shooting, we're shooting pest species. But people seem to think that everything else suffers, and it doesn't. I mean, on this land here now, um, my brother comes um, quite regular. I come with him sometimes. We shot a lot of foxes on here. I mean, this was a conveyor belt for foxes at one time. And we've been shooting here for years, long time. And, uh, but only um, doing proper fox control over the past probably five years, say. And th about three years ago, after us doing it for around two seasons, um, curlews got, <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> we've got curlews nesting over there in the fields. We've got lapwings and we've got shell ducks. Never seen them, never seen anything like that here before. So, you know, the ground predators, or the predators that are taking the, the ground nesting birds, once they're thinned out, keep seeing shadows, I've got my gun here. I'll shoot any crows, but uh, I'll show you in a bit. There's uh, the drilling fields, a field away from here, so uh, <coughs> I'll show you in a bit. Anyway, uh, this is the main, quite a good flight line. Big wood over there, big rookery over there, another big rookery over there. Got a winter barley field there, which I'll show you in a bit. And then there's um, winter barley going in across here. They're just, um, it's been ploughed and they're just working the soil now, ready to get it in, get the, uh, the, get the seed in. <coughs> but anyway, so this good open area here, catching any, any crows that come past. Um, completely forgot what I was fucking talking about then. And went off on one. Um, oh, ah, yeah, the ground nesting birds. Um, we shoot, we do shoot a few pheasants here. Not so many. Not many. We don't. We don't go mad. Um, they're only wild birds. And when I when I pulled up here, I set the camera up. Just over here, there was a cockbird with two end birds. They're wandering around. Well, they get a bit of feed. Um, give them a bit of feed. Plus the fact there's a, a big chicken farm here. So the, the landowner here has the chicken muck. So it's all piled up just behind the trees over here. A lot of pheasants coming in. 
um, scratching through the chicken muck and getting the, the corn and the seed and the, the chicken feed out of that. Well, before the foxes were getting dealt with here, never saw a pheasant. You know what I mean? We even had partridge on here um, last season up on the on the stubble field there. We didn't shoot them. We don't we don't shoot the partridge here <coughs> because there isn't many um, around. We get woodcock here in the winter. We don't shoot them either. Um, see this this bit of a flood behind me. This extends. This is literally just a flooded field. This extends quite far out. We get about. 60, 70 yards, 80 yards of water. You've got quite a lot of mallard coming in here and teal in the winter, so we have a bit of a pop at them as well. Um, we feed this this splash and another one over there, which you might see when I uh, show you the cornfield. So all this sort of supplementary feeding, um, that's, what I, <laughs> that's what I'm getting out of the long and short of it. This supplementary feeding that we're doing here, we're not gamekeepers by any any means I was a gamekeeper but we're not gamekeepers as such but the food we're putting in is helping the other wildlife so you know that's the evidence what what we do um, is nothing well to my mind because I'm a shooter to my mind is nothing but good you know I don't think we have any sort of negative effect um, on anything, I don't. I don't use any. I don't use any lead cartridges. I use steels, and these are home-loaded steel, and I use them for everything. You know, so because uh, anything I shoot gets fed to falcons. <coughs> Again, so you know, nothing I shoot goes to waste, um, with the exception of rats. You know. Um, but that's the, you know that's the long and short of that. So anyway, uh, yeah. So anyway, I've fucking started rattling on. <coughs> I'm here just gonna. Well, I'm gonna bugger off in a minute. I'm gonna come to have a quick wander and a quick, a quick natter. And maybe try and get an update. But have a look on the any websites. If you have a look on, um, I usually pin a comment at the at the top of the comment section. Um, if you keep sort of coming back to any of the the recent videos. Just check that the comment, the pinned comment, hasn't changed, and there might be more information there. Obviously, I can't be doing this every day. I bore the shit out of you lot and, well, myself. Someone said to me the other day, Oh, God, your video was quite funny until towards the end, and I nearly fell asleep. Well, I bet if he's watching this, he'd be fucking snoring his head off. <laughs> so, thanks for all the comments, apart from the one that <laughs> some guy sent me a comment. Um, well, one told me to get a proper job and called me a bum. Um, I think one told me to jump off a, off a road bridge, but that's just, you know, that's just inconsiderate because there's traffic jam, so that won't be happening. Uh, another guy says, um, I need to get a life. Says him, trawling through the internet, looking for stuff to be offended by. Go fuck yourself, you prick, if you're watching this. Off you pop. Stick your head in a fucking oven. <coughs> um, and then go and eat a vegan pasty or some fucking shit. So, well, I won't get back onto the vegans. But anyway, yeah, so that's it. That's all, all I've got to say at the moment. <coughs> um, yeah, check the website out. I'll try and put some links in. The general license, not, uh, not fit for purpose for pigeons in England. If you live in Wales, check out National Resources Wales. Natural Resources Wales, sorry. Check out your licences there, make sure you're covered, make sure you're doing everything right. And uh, that'll do, I think. Um, yeah, just check the descriptions. Thanks for all the comments on the other videos. Again, um, as you can see, no signs, not really any dicking about tonight. <laughs> I was actually hoping a couple of ducks were going to come flying in. There was mallard flying around here a minute ago. I thought oh, a couple of ducks will fly in while I'm filming this. Well, they didn't. They didn't read the fucking script. So, uh, <laughs> not that I have a script, obviously, as you can tell. But anyway, yeah. So, uh, oh, what I was going to say is um, the Canada Goose license that they introduced yesterday at the same time as the the pigeon license. That apparently that's even fucking worse than the pigeon license. So. Don't bother, don't bother shooting Canada geese. 
until everything's sorted and uh, yeah, or you know. But anyway, um, yeah, that'll do for now. I'll uh, pop a little clip in of the where the drilled fields are, basically up there. Yeah, just two fields. Yeah, two fields away. Two and a half hundred yards, three hundred yards that way. So if you're interested, keep having another look. Keep looking. Right, thanks for watching guys. See you later. Told you it was my lad here. <laughs> As soon as I switch the bloody camera off, they come in. <laughs> Typical. Told you they don't read the scripts. Work in the fields there. Another one for protecting. Crows are already building up and taking notice. <coughs> but obviously, um, until the seed goes in, they're just looking at uh, looking at the worms, etc. So I won't touch them until. Don't touch them until they're actually eating the corn, the barley, whatever's going in, barley I'm imagining. So I think we just, uh, that field was ploughed well, a few days ago. Now they're just uh, getting it ready for the drill. So what we got there, we got to drill, that field there be drilled. There's another one just beyond it, you can't quite see from here. Then we got the grass, this grass field here, and then up there is a uh, winter barley field. And then sort of behind me, you can't see it from here, you'll see the tree there, well slightly to the left of them trees there, it's quite a big rookery. There's also big rookery in them trees over there and there's a, there's a hell of a lot of crows and uh, crows rooks and jackdaws in and out of there so you can imagine what happens on these fields over here always nice to see the, the tractors out Working in the spring. It's quite nice because I know I can get the gun, <laughs> I can get the gun a bit, get the gun quite hot in a bit. Hopefully. <laughs> Just thought I'd show you what I've got in the uh, <laughs> the half an hour I was studying. Not a lot. But it'll all help. As soon as I moved, the shell don't come back. There's a pair of them. You can only see the one at the moment. Nice to see. I can hold the bastard thing steady. I'm getting visitors. I'm stuck in a fucking rose bush. Oh, my cows! <laughs> it's my fan club. I did a bit of cattle worrying. McDonald's! Get off that, you little fucker. You would knock me fucking headlights out. Come on, fuck it off. 